Hi everyone, Julie here and thanks for joining me. This is just a short, well hopefully a short video on cutting mats. I apologise for the lighting, but it's a bright, bright sunny morning. It's only not even 9 o'clock and it's already warming up. It's going to be 33 degrees today. So I thought get this done before it gets um, too warm. What I've got here is I've got three cutting mats. This is the first one I ever bought, just a small one. I'm just trying to make it that I can actually see what the camera is seeing because of the sunshine. This is a small one. I've had it for years and years. It's no good for cutting fabric or or um, um, card for hexagons anymore. It's got, I'm not sure if you can actually see, I'll um, move down a bit out of the sun. It's um, got some quite deep grooves and things spilt on it. It's a reversible mat, the other side's only marginally better. You can see possibly by the colour that there's grooves in it where the um, bits of fabric and cardboard and such have stuck to it. So I just use that for cutting you know, odd things or if I'm in the other room cutting up you know, bits of balsa wood or something I tend to use this one. But that's what I started with. The next mat is this blue one. Now, this one, when I moved to this house, I've got a bedroom at the back that I was going to use for quilting. And it has a north-facing window and a west-facing window. And the table was sort of in between the two, but on a hot summer day, or after a hot summer day, I've gone in and found this cutting mat was like a wave. It was so warped, it was, it was unusable. So what I put I put it aside and then bought this one which is a double sided mat the other sides pretty much worn the same this is the one I've been using for the past few years it's probably cut 50,000 hexagons worth of fabric um and other fabrics obviously um, masses and masses of sheets of cardboard and it's been my main mat for ages but the purpose of this video is to explain what to do with a warped mat what to do with a dirty mat and what to do with a really really worn one so the first step is if your mat's dirty you can clean them, it, um, it's a bit of a process, but basically just washing up liquid and a washing up brush, uh, what you need to um, clean them, they, um, it will get the, a lot of the bits of fabric out, the bristles of a washing up brush, don't use anything too abrasive, but just your normal washing up brush. Uh, microfiber cloth, um, anything like that. Don't use a scourer or steel wool on it. But I just put this on the, put some towels on the kitchen bench and put this on it and gave it a good clean both sides and it came up a lot better. So that's how you clean a cutting mat. As far as a warped mat goes, which is this one now I'm not sure if you can see but this is still a bit warped on this edge I tend to use this one to cover up my ironing my ironing board so the cats don't sit on it I don't really use it for cutting it is a lot better than it was I looked online and saw things like iron it with wet with a wet towel and then put weights on it and everything else I found I did that twice I found it made almost no difference 
I was in the quilting shop one day and a woman in there said, and we were talking cutting mats and a customer in there said, put it in a north facing room on a hot summer's day and it'll you know flatten itself and I thought well I'm not going to do that because it was in a north facing room and that's how it got warped in the first place and then somebody else in the shop said put it outside either on a flat bit of concrete or a flat table on a really hot day and it'll basically melt itself flat so we get 40 degrees Celsius days here in the summer and on one of them I put it out on a wooden outdoor table out in the sun and left it out there and it got rid of 95% of the warp so I was surprised at that I think you know I could put it outside again and it may get rid of this edge this warped edge but I don't know but for the purpose I use it for, which is, you know, just covering the ironing board, it, it works fine. I don't need it to be dead flat. I've got the other ones that are dead flat. So that works. Yeah, that's got it a lot better than it was. Obviously, if you're in a country that doesn't get absolute stinking hot days, I really don't know any other option other than to buy yourself a new mat which is what I did when I bought this green one what so that's how to clean your mat and what to do with a warped mat the other option or the other topic is what to do with a get this one back again with a really really worn mat and this one, my green one, is getting there. It's getting to the point now that when I go to cut, because you always tend to cut in the same position, is, you know, when your fabric starts, it, you put a new blade in your cutter and it's still not cutting all the way through. That's because fibres from the fabric tend to be cutting or digging into the grooves on the mat as you're cutting. And unfortunately, the only realistic option is to buy yourself a new mat you know when I bought the blue mat it cost me I think it was about $90 Australian when I bought that so I was a bit gutted when it um when it warped and really pleased when I got it almost flat again this one I got on special for it's a double sided one the great big green one I got it on special for, I think it was about $80 plus postage. Um, I thought, yeah, that's supposed to last forever. You know, you pay that sort of money. It's like my rotary knife. I'm still using the same one. Obviously, changed the blades, but I've still got the same knife I've been using for years and years. And I just, you know, out of ignorance, probably more than anything else, thought cutting mats lasted forever. But they don't. You know, really, when it gets to this stage, when I've got the money, I'll be buying myself a new one because this, I don't know if you can see that. If I run my fingers one way, I can see all the fibres in the cuts. And if I run it back the other way, the cuts sort of close up. But there's bits of fabric stuck in the cuts. It, it really is, it, it's had its, its use. Which is unfortunate because, like I said, I thought they lasted forever. But they don't. They're, they're just plastic. I mean, obviously a really um, high quality specific plastic. But at the end of the day, they're just plastic. And they don't last forever. So, yes, it's a huge expense. But I've, I feel I've had my money's worth out of all three of these mats. And like I said, when I've got... When I've got money, I'll be buying another one of these. Um, these are Birch brand. I've been happy with these. Um, you know, I know there's other brands. There's um, Fiskars do one. They do a folding one. But I thought I wouldn't bother with that. I'd probably just get another one of these, double-sided one of these. And if it costs $100, then it costs $100. But so be it. But that's pretty much all I wanted to say how to, if possible, how to unwarp a cutting mat, 
how to clean cutting mats and that worked really well here comes the cat um, how to this is Clancy you've all met Clancy before um, and what to do with your cutting mat once it's totally worn out but um, this is why I put a cutting mat on top of the ironing board because the cats would no doubt love to get onto that go on or you just want your photo taken can't actually see if I've got him that's him he's getting a bit old and he's got a few things wrong with him but and he's been under the house because there's dirt on his whiskers but that's that's him he's got a nice bed over there it's actually a quilt a folded quilt my turquoise wall hanging one um, covered with a towel and he'll actually spend a chunk of today on there until he gets too hot so that's pretty much it don't forget to like and subscribe and if you could share this with quilting friends that would be fantastic because I need the subscribers so if you haven't already subscribed then I appreciate it if you do and I can see he's been under the house because his white paws not white anymore but um, so that's it, just a relatively short video which I've been meaning to do for months on cutting mats. I thought I'd do a nice short one this hot weekend. So there will be a bonus video on Wednesday of something new that I'm doing that I'm quite excited about. So keep a lookout on Wednesday for, um, for that. For that video it won't be a long one either it'll just be a short one but um that's coming wednesday and thank you very much for watching and i will see you then